Hello and welcome to the Brits in the NRL round 13 wrap and let's start straight away with the magnificent performance from the Canberra Raiders featuring three Englishmen. The Raiders smashed the West Tigers 28-0 and what do we think of that kids? Yeah! Good! <laughs> yeah, the kids follow the Raiders of course, we live down here in Canberra, I don't, I can't tell you who I support, it's totally unbiased my reports to you guys. Now it was the third shutout for the Raiders this year. And leading the way yet again was John Bateman. This man has fast become not only a cult hero in the nation's capital, he is the talisman of the Canberra Raiders squad. And he's just playing great footy. He scored the try on half time. They got the Raiders to an 18-0 lead, which was pretty much the way they were defending. It's unassailable. He did a little grubber, showing off his soccer skills yet again. He grubbed through, got the return pass, and over he went. It was a magnificent performance. Three tackle breaks, 34 tackles, and he ran for over 120 metres in a five-star performance yet again. Now, Elliot Whitehead, he was solid without being spectacular, um, but yet again, it was another fantastic performance. He is just week in, week out, one of the Raiders' best each week. He's one of the first players Ricky Stewart picks. And the man I really want to concentrate on, Ryan Sutton. Now, with Hudson Young out for five weeks, this was a massive Massive opportunity for Ryan Sutton to consolidate his spot in the team, and he was absolutely sensational. Here's some stats for you. Ryan Sutton played off the bench for 65 minutes, 46 tackles, 163 metres, including an absolute bell ringer of a tackle that got the ball back for the Canberra Raiders. So that was it, a fantastic game. Now, Chris McQueen didn't feature. He was left out of the side late, and he played... Canterbury Cup for the West Magpies. He did score a try, but with Chris Lawrence back, uh, he was automatically thrown straight back in. And we know McQueen's out of favour with Malcolm Maguire because he's been shopped around, reports say, to the English. So where Chris McQueen will end up next year, who knows? Um, now let's move on. This was an absolute bell ringer of a game. South Sydney versus the Newcastle Knights. It started the NRL round 13 and it was an absolute brute of a game. Uh, it had everything. South got defeated 20 to 12. They had players backing up from origin and Newcastle just belted them. It was absolutely sensational. And the fists flew. The Biff was brought back by the Burgess boys. Uh, Tom started it all with Daniel Saifidi. They had a coming together on uh, just before half time, I think it was, and it was on. Uh, the fists were flying. They all piled in. Sam Burgess come flying over the top with a haymaker. He, uh, I think he threw a, a little, well, it was a Liverpool kiss. It was a slight, slight little lean in. Wasn't a real full blooded headbutt on uh, Fitzgibbon. Lucky Fitzgibbon for the Knights, but uh, Sam got marched for 10, and Tom got marched for 10. Tom also did a trip late in the game. Now, Sam got fined, but, and Thomas will miss a week, but both of them are going in for surgery. So there's some big news for Rabbitohs and English fans. Uh, over the next five weeks, the Bunnies only actually played two games through the origin period, and they've also got a bye. So Sam was due for shoulder surgery. So he, he's going to miss the next five weeks, but he'll only actually miss two games. And Thomas is also getting some, I think, some uh, having a bit of surgery on his ankle, just a bit of a clean out, I think. So he was going to miss a week, but I think he's out for two anyway. Now, some big numbers, though. Sam, 71 minutes, scored another try. It was a late try. He burst through three players. It was all too late. Newcastle were far too good. But Sam is playing great footy. That was his seventh try for the year. He's, he's killing it. He again ran over 100 metres, 109 metres to be exact. Now, Thomas, 64-minute stint. So he did get binned, but that's a big, big output from the big fella. 144 metres, 29 tackles. He is playing sensational football. Um, Damien Cook just looked a bit flat and couldn't couldn't make anything off that. He got replaced late in the game, and that's where a lot of South's frustration came. Uh, this is what Origin does. It just seems to take the wind out of the sails of a couple of teams. Players backing up. Uh, George, 32 minutes. He, he didn't have a huge spell in the game. Still ran for 88 metres, mind you, which is a good output. And also feeling the pinch are the Roosters, and Ryan Hall actually featured in that game. Latrell Mitchell was rested. Uh, Ryan Hall got to play his second game. Um, the Roosters got beat. They had about six players out. 
through injury and origin. Uh, but it was a big, big game from the Panthers. And Ryan Hall, a wholehearted performance, but he was up against it. Um, he's still still feeling his way back from that AC, ACL injury. We won't see the best of Ryan Hall for quite a while, but every game he gets under his belt, he's looking better and better. He did some tough hit-ups. And to finish off the English in the NRL, Herbie Farnworth in the Queensland Intra Super Cup scored his 10th try in nine games. He's going great guns. Uh, the North Devils defeated Redcliffe 28-16. Herbie scored, kicked three out of five. He's doing great stuff. But for the Brits in the NRL, leading the way are the Raiders and John Bateman.